Hey guys, so I learned that the packs in question were actually purchased a Walgreens, a specific Walgreens. I'm not going to call it out, but you can find out its exact location on Reddit. And it wasn't one pack, it was five packs. Now, was it more than five packs? Was it less than five packs? Uh, who really knows? But at this point in time, Walgreens was stocking the new booster packs four months ahead of schedule which means that the booster packs are all ready to go probably in every Walgreens, not just this one, and probably in every single Walmart and Target. They're in a box in the back, I guess, and there's probably a release date on the boxes, and most employees will look at that and be like, okay, we'll honor the release date. But uh, in this case, uh, either the employee or the manager, somebody put out these packs for sale, Somebody, a casual player tries to buy it and they were able to buy it. That's crazy. Um, it is a Walgreens in Morrisville, New, uh, North Carolina, which means that it's not even near Seattle. So like if, if it went from wherever it goes from to North Carolina, yeah, it's probably going to be more. Um, I don't know if it's true just for this set. And I have honestly never ch checked Walgreens. Or If you're a, a Magic player, if you're a non-casual Magic player, you are not going to check Walgreens, right? That's not a place that you would go buy Magic cards. The only person who buys Magic cards at Walgreens would be like a, a very casual player. Like, it, it's... When you are in seriously into magic and you know what these packs are worth, these packs are worth their weight in gold because each pack has 15 cards you can spoil and each pack has mechanics and each pack has like, for instance, surprises like the Pokemon basic energy. And if you're lucky, like this guy, you can pull the Elspeth. So man, these packs are like very, very valuable. I would, I would value them at at least $100 a piece. Wizard of the Coast would probably value them much higher because now the mechanics are known. Of course, they're not going to talk about it. and It just shows you that, yeah, leaks and inside trading. Now, let me put it this way. This is confirmation that there is inside trading because the cards are coming out at the very least. And we don't know if they've been out for six months, 18 months, who knows. At the very least, the cards are coming out four months ahead of schedule at these Walgreens. So before four months before the release date, or even before pre-release, these cards can be found at Walgreens. Normally not in the front, but somewhere in storage, I assume. Because if these cards are being sent to this Walgreens in North Carolina, they have to store them for four months at least. At least four months, right? So they're somewhere in that store. And if this Walgreens has it, it is very unlikely that it's a single Walgreens, right? That's not how Walgreens does distribution. Plus, it's five packs. So it's not even like, oh, we just mistakenly dropped one pack. No, it's five, at least five packs, perhaps more. I, I really wonder, like, how much... Um, so the majority of Magic cards are not bought from your local game store. They are bought from Walmart, Walgreens, and Target. That's just data. That's information. But people who are into magic, like really into magic, who would like un immediately understand what this is and what they have in their hands, because this guy does not. The way that he shares it and, you know, it's, a, it's done so poorly that this guy cannot possibly be a content creator in Magic the Gathering because he's sitting on little gold, right? As a content creator, this is gold. And he has five packs of gold, and this is how he decides to... <laughs> I mean, it's... Not even, uh, and then I did delete his Twitter account. I mean, man, you just got to sell it to a bigger content creator and just let them run with it because 5 times 15, 75 spoilers, the new land, uh, that's a lot of cards. You could reveal a new car, every new card every day. Uh, first of all, you would do the Elspeth, right, which has the whole story about Elspeth actually killing Helios and then winning. So, oops, uh, that story just leaked right now. And that could be your channel. You could just uh, spoil a new card every day. You could open a, a pack, right? And then just show the next card. <laughs> That's how I would do it. I would just drain the blanking card. I want these packs. I know they're out there. So 
Uh, if you send me a video of you opening a pack like this, hopefully not in the, uh, what's it called? You got to shoot it horizontally, not vertically. Please do not shoot the video vertically. <laughs> That's the worst video. I would be interested in buying it because I think it would be very interesting, intriguing. And you know, and I know that these are in Walgreens. So I'm going to look for Walgreens. I just never gone to Walgreens to buy magic cards. It's not what I would do because, like, if I'm buying Magic cards, I would just buy from my distributor. But um, it turns out Walgreens already has the new set, um, and it's ready for sale. And and that's the key here. It's not like, oh, this card and this card was found in this pack. And I could understand this stuff, but th these are things that are actually being sold. So there's scanning, the barcode scans. There's you know price and time. I mean, it's a real sale. And Walgreens is already starting to sell. I mean, if I were Walgreens, I I mean, contract be damned. I'd just start selling these. Or let me put this more specifically. If I was a Walgreens employee and got a case of these booster packs and someone wanted to pay me 100 for them and all I had to pay was like $4. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I don't think they could catch you because I, I assume every Walgreens has this type of stuff. And... And I'm sure Magic would be upset, but what are they going to do against Walgreens? Walgreens be like, okay, so we're not going to carry Magic product anymore. And you lose like 25% of your income. So it's fascinating. Um, this really, really is kind of a crazy revelation that a, anyone can do inside information because the information is readily available everywhere. It's located at every Walgreens. I guarantee you every Walgreens has a box of this new set just sitting somewhere in inventory. And it probably says, do not open until this date. But when you're paying minimal, when you're paying minimal wage to employees, it could be that they can't read. So they might be opening them and stocking them, or you might encourage them in some way. It's the same with Funko figures, actually. I was talking to my friend about this. He is a Walgreens manager. And he, Walgreens has like really interesting Funko figures and they have uh, Marvel Legends. In Marvel Legends, Walgreens has one called Magic, M-A-G-I-K, not Magic, Magic. And I have a bunch of those and they're uh, Walgreens exclusive. And of course, those sell better because you can only get that character from X-Men at the Walgreens and I always ask, why don't you just go ahead and buy all the Chase figures? Like uh, in Funko, one in six figures are a Chase. And that's like much more than retail. And then in Marvel Legends, you have the exclusives. And you have some that sell very well, that sell for double, triple MSRP. So I was just wondering why, you know, if you have these, the ability, uh, you see the inventory before anyone else, wouldn't you just like text a friend and be like, hey, we're st I'm stocking this um, Magic that we're selling for twenty dollars. That is eBaying for forty. Or Emma Frost, for instance, I think goes for sixty or eighty. I'm set. I'm stocking Emma Frost that sells for nineteen ninety nine at exactly eight p.m. And you know I need you to be there because I want you to buy it because it sells for eighty. And the same with the Funko exclusives and. Wouldn't that also be true for Magic? It would be like, hey, you know, I'm stocking this uh, new booster set or this new Magic set early. Be here at 8 p.m. on this day. And I would be like, yeah, I'm, <laughs> sign me in. It's easy money, right? And that's not just Walgreens, right? Target has exclusives. I think Target had like a giant Boba Shower once. And you had to wake up early. But then it was like, did they stock it? Did they not stock it? Uh, was it Giant Pikachu? I think it was Giant Pikachu, actually. And that went for two times MSRP. I think it's like three times, it's a Funko Pikachu. So I'm, or Hot Topic, maybe you work at Hot Topic, they get exclusives too, box lines, uh, and so on. GameStop even. Like things would come into your inventory that you know are extremely valuable, like a collector's edition for instance. And you know that when you're stocking it, because you're the physical dude to stock it, that's your job, there's only two of you at GameStop, and many GameStops, there's only one person. So, like, of course that one person would know, right? That manager definitely knows when he's going to stock the exclusive Pokemon figurine worth five times what uh, you can buy. I would be interested in that. 
I, I would be interested in get receiving a text message saying at 8 p.m. I'm going to stock all the exclusive Emma Frosts. Come in at eight. Now, I I'd pay a ton of money for that information. I wonder if it happens. I bet you it happens. All right, if you're a Walgreens, or Walmart, Target employee, hit me up. Cause I, in humble Houston. Or if you can just get me this stuff, hit me up because I'm interested. I really like the exclusives for my toy store. They're the only one thing I cannot get. I've kind of wondered why I can't get them, but they're always like, uh, how can I say it? Mm, no, I can't really. All right, I'll play it this way. I do get the exclusives, and I do get them at a bigger, a, a better volume. So in Funko, instead of one in six, I'll get them in one in four. But my ideal situation is not to have to buy three of the same thing to get the one exclusive, even though my rate is a lot better than the typical customer rate because I buy in volume. I am still not happy, and would much rather just have the ability to buy the Emma Frost for twenty and then retail for eighty instead of buying, you know, like two hundred dollars of uh, Marvel Legends and one of them being the Emma Frost for twenty that I can sell for eighty. Anyway, hi guys.